Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are at Osaka Jo Station now, and uh, you can see it's so full of people. Let's go. We have come here for Hanami. Let's meet up later. Okay, so there they will have some band show in the evening. I can't explain how happy I am. Like it's such a nice feeling to be out on a sunny day. It was uh, drizzling, but it stopped suddenly. So we have some uh, stalls over here. So let's go. Okay, guys. Wherever there would be such stalls, you will have some common food items. One would be yakisoba, which is the Japanese noodles, fried Japanese noodles. It's kind of chowmin. And then you will have the Osaka food, which is the takoyaki. Tako means uh, octopus in Japanese. So uh, they have small pieces of octopus in the middle of these uh, balls. And then uh, you also have dorayaki. Dorayaki is kind of a uh, blue uh, pe bean paste uh, inside stuffed inside a kind of cake of a th cake kind of a thing and uh, it has the stamp of doraemon on doraemon's face on that that's called doraiyaki and uh, it's very delicious sweet i like the azuki flavor which is the red beans uh, sweet and red beans flavor but they, you also get chocolates and uh, custards and all that yeah these are the three common items you would get in any of the stalls Hmm. You like it when it's breezy, cold? Hmm. Nice. Okay, so I have this 500 yen and uh, these stalls over here they all have they are all selling things for 500 yen so it's called one coin shop and uh, this is uh, yakisoba for 500 yen that's the value of it all right guys that was a satisfactory meal now i'm going for dorayaki it's actually a a, a dumpling kind of a thing with uh, uh, red beans uh, paste it's sweet in flavor so yeah i have another 500 uh, yen left in my pocket so i will spend in that dorayaki and then we will go and watch uh, the flowers anko custard cream chocolate cream green tea cream This was 200 yen only, and you see the Doraemon. <laughs> Red beans inside. Mm. Sweet. Guys, it's definitely not good manners to walk and eat on the streets of uh, Japan. Nobody does that. Everybody, you see, sitting in the corners and eating. But I just want to break the rules today. So, yeah, we can walk. It is a sweet, no problem. So, that is Osaka Joe, almost about to. Almost nearing Osaka Jo. And then we have these uh, counters. I think these opened up because of the Hanami, the Sakura blossoms. It doesn't stay here throughout the year. And I'm sure you will get some Osake and drinks over here. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's one important part of uh, the Hanami is to drink under the cherry blossom trees. So, <laughs> so 
Okay, so I pick up this. Zero. Zero. What are you? Five percent. Guys, it's a beautiful day today. I don't think so. There would be any better weekend than to enjoy the hanami. However, the hanami is not in full blossom now. And uh, hopefully it will be in full blossom by next week. But we have a weather forecast of rain. So as soon as it blossoms, there will be rain. I think today is the best weather for hanami picnic. Okay, guys. So that is the castle. And then this one is the surrounding water body which used to save the castle uh, from the invaders especially samurais and ninjas to uh, go inside the castle but I doubt the little bit of water over here uh, <laughs> could have saved them because uh, the, from the movies that we have seen the samurais and all that they are well trained to just cross this little place this little water body and you know it's so interesting and thrilling when you think about the movies and the samurais and the ninjas and the invaders and then this small little castle which uh, does not, <laughs> it was uh, invaded so many times in the past. Okay, so we have an opinion from uh, Dhankar. He says, uh, <laughs> Rajasthan is bigger than the entire of Japan. Which is true, if you think so. Rajasthan was bigger than the entire of Japan and uh, we love it. We love it. In fact, I love Rajasthan more than Japan no doubt about that guys it's drizzling outside and we are standing under this tree and strangely not a drop of water has fallen on my on me so far so you see god has made something to save us all the time thrilling ume ume can you feel the sun Sakura is not yet bloomed and these are the buds that is going to bloom within 2-3 days and then this entire place will look like a white fairy tale. Guys, wherever I'm going today, they have these stalls over here. So, you see the Hanami party is like, you know, Big time over here, and this is the entrance to the Osaka Jo. That's the castle behind me, and I don't have any wish to go inside. The point is I've been to so many Joes in my entire life in Japan that it's kind of boring for me. I would rather spend time outside amongst the people and uh, picnic and party and drink. That is more fun than to go inside the Joe and just take some pictures of uh, uh, Sakurai, Samurai, wear some clothes of Samurai and take some pictures with the sword in his hand. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do something else. And then people practice rock climbing over here. And also for people who cannot walk long distances, you will get these cute uh, trams to go around the park.
So guys, that was the only tree which is in full bloom and everybody is flocking to take pictures of the flowers and the rest of them has not yet bloomed yet so hopefully by next week it will be but next week it's gonna rain so it's over now we will start picnic look at that beautiful 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 sakura so yeah we'll go buy some food again again and drinks again and start our picnic uh, so if you're coming to japan ever in your life this is one of the activities that you will do once in a year which is called the hanami and uh, you will love it you will come with your friends you will come with your um, co-mates so yeah see you in japan then bye bye take care yeah can i sweet potato 100 yen huh Looks like we are on an eating spree today. Oh ho! I can't eat this. Guys, you see the uh, celebrities and uh, nobody attacks them like they do in India. So in that case, Japan is the safest country. I'm 